So in a trauma situation, if this patient had been a victim of blunt trauma like a car wreck, I'd say, well, you have a real nice view of Morrison's pouch, but now, Michelle, can you uh, sweep up under the diaphragm, under the right side to make sure there's no subdiaphragmatic blood? Oh, great. And keep on going. Yeah, that's good. We're getting there. Oh, you want me to go up to the yes, diaphragm? Yes, yes. Oh, there you go. That's the view I want right there. And can you make it? Yeah, that's great. And so I see there's no subdiaphragmatic blood either. Uh, so now we could sweep over to the mid epigastric region and look for a pericardial effusion. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a, a nice view there. <laughs> Could you use the liver more as a window so that we can get rid of some of that air, Michelle, please? Great, and I see no effusion. And so now could you move over to the left side so we could look at the spleen? Sure. <laughs> That's great. Okay. And, and then can you sweep down that gutter on the left lower quadrant? I see a nice renal splenal um, differentiation with no fluid. So if you can sweep down to the left lower quadrant. That's great, I see no free fluid there. And now can you sweep over to the bladder so we can look around there, please? Sure. That's nice, I see no fluid around the pouch of Douglas. Can we go to the right lower quadrant now? It's just sweep there and I don't see any free fluid there so we have Michelle you've done a nice demonstration of a of a fast exam thank you thank you Dr. Welsh